<laughs> it is the biggest night in British film. It's time for the annual BAFTAs. As the UK's answer to the Oscars, there are always plenty of memorable moments that take place. From awkward speeches to backstage blunders and some very cheeky moments involving the royal family. You can expect plenty of drama and delights when the British Academy Film Awards airs this weekend. He may be famed for chasing younger ladies, but Leonardo DiCaprio had his eye on a more mature woman when he planted a huge kiss on Dame Maggie Smith. The 2016 BAFTAs fell on Valentine's Day, and show bosses decide to honour the holiday by setting up a kiss cam for the unsuspecting audience. When the camera panned to Leo, he didn't hold back and pulled in a game Dame Maggie for a big smacker, which the actress later described as a real thrill. Brian Cranston, Julianne Moore, whoa! They weren't the only pair to pucker up, with Julianne Moore planting a smooch on Brian Cranston and Eddie Izzard enjoying a steamy snob with Rebel Wilson, all in the name of fun. Eddie and Rebel. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> the Prince of Wales showed off his cheeky side at the 2014 BAFTAs when he bantered with Helen Mirren while presenting her with the Fellowship Award. Please welcome to the stage Dame Helen Mirren. Dame Helen famously played the Queen in the 2006 movie, a role that saw her win a BAFTA, Golden Globe and an Oscar. And the Prince couldn't help referencing it when they met, calling her an extremely talented British actress I should probably call Granny. Helen later referred to the Royal as a very nice chap, saying there was no princeness about him at all. The typically unflappable Meryl Streep was left all a fluster when she suffered a wardrobe malfunction at the 2011 ceremony. And the BAFTA goes to Meryl Streep. <laughs> While stepping onto the stage to collect Best Actress for the Iron Lady, the veteran actress stumbled and managed to lose a shoe. <laughs> Luckily, Meryl's Mamma Mia co-star Colin Firth came to her aid rushing over to pick up her black Jimmy Choo and place it gently on her foot. <laughs> While Mel pressed on, she later confessed that she felt awful because in her flustered state, she'd forgotten to thank her longtime hair and makeup artist in her speech. Thank you so much. for 15 minutes and I offended England. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence was forced to issue a grovelling apology in 2018 after she was accused of being rude to host Joanna Lumley. Joanna had preferred the Hunger Games star as the hottest actress on the planet, prompting Jennifer to walk on, roll her eyes and declare that was a bit much. Shocked viewers rushed to label Jennifer a spoilt brat, but the actress insisted it had been an inside joke with Joanna because she told the presenter to big her up on stage. I love Joanna Lum. I've been such a huge fan for so long. When I saw her backstage, I was like, oh my God. And I like grabbed her right before she went on stage and I was just like, just go on and on and on about me. You know, obviously kidding. Sure. So then she, you know, went and gave me the nicest introduction ever. And so as a joke, which I should have, it was kind of an inside joke between us. I was like, okay, calm down, because I'm the one that told her to do it. And boy, did that go Jennifer wrong. Jennifer later apologized for offending the whole of England and said she would never try and make a joke like that again. Do you think you could join us for a second? Oh, Tom, join I us. Do, I was worried a bit about Julie, because she's, she's getting an awful lot of very young leading men these days, and I wondered if perhaps maybe you two could do something together. We should have worked oh, together five years ago. Yeah, no, Tom, let, yes, yes, okay. of course. Are, are yeah. you saying she's past her prime? No, I'm saying I am. It's a big difference. Oh, yeah, yes, <laughs> not at all. Anyway, yeah. Did you know when you saw when you saw the script that this was just a fabulous part? I mean, you did you did fit in very well, I must say. Hollywood heavyweight Tom Hanks was on hand to present Best Supporting Actress in 2001, giving Julie Walters the award for Billy Elliot. After Julie's heartfelt acceptance speech, the talk continued backstage, with Mariella Frostrup asking the star how she felt about winning the award. Yet chaos ensued when Tom was invited over to join the chat with the actor inadvertently labelling Julie old and waving his cue cards across the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I knew it was marvellous. Um, is that what you asked me? Weren't you worried about working with a first-timer like Stephen Daldry? With Julie struggling to answer any questions, Mariella decided it'd be best to end the interview, leaving the pair in hysterics. Gentlemen, 
gender fluid youth. <laughs> Welcome to the 75th and final <laughs> EE British Academy Film Awards. Oh wait, so, sorry, is this, this is not the final one? Okay. Well, we'll see about that. The BBC were forced to issue an apology after viewers were left offended by Rebba Wilson's opening monologue at the 2022 BAFTAs. The Australian actress raised eyebrows with her outlandish comments and X-rated gags, where she took aim at the likes of Harry and Meghan and Benedict Cumberbatch. One joke dubbed too crude for broadcasts came at the expense of Daniel Craig, as Rebel declared she'd like to sit on the James Bond star. She also took a swipe at JK Rowling when discussing her weight loss, as she joked the Harry Potter author would not approve of her physical transformation referencing the writer's comments on transgender issues. At the age of 13, Jodie Foster made history when she picked up not just one, but two BAFTAs at the 1977 ceremony. And the winner is... Jodie Foster for Bugsy Malone and Taxi Club. Miss Jodie Foster, the dimpled blonde darling, very well known on American television shows. And uh, this in Bugsy Malone was her very first grown-up role. The teenager wowed with her work in Bugsy Malone and Taxi Driver, which saw her awarded Best Supporting Actress and Most Promising Newcomer. The actress bounded onto the stage to pick up her gong and gave a sweet speech thanking everyone for believing in her. Thank you very much to everyone that was involved in Taxi Driver and Bugsy Malone, and directors and great actors and everyone that cooperated together. And mostly the press that, that has been so nice to me over this year and Everything else this year, I'm so nervous, I can't even believe it. Uh, it was a moment that she referenced 15 years later, when she was honoured for the third time at the BAFTAs after winning the Best Actress for Science of the Lambs in 1992. Jack Nicholson wasn't able to pick up his Best Actor award for the last detail in Chinatown in person, but that didn't stop him from delivering a hell of a speech. who have been chosen best actor by the society this year for my performance in Chinatown. Uh, I'd like to thank Madam President and the rest of the members of the society for this great honor. Uh, I wish that I could be with you there in Albert Hall, but as you can see, I've been institutionalized here in Oregon while filming One Flew Over the Cooper's Nest with some friends of mine. <clears throat> as the actor was away filming One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, he decided to speak to BAFTA viewers from the set of his new film, pretending he'd been sectioned at a mental health facility. With co-stars such as Danny DeVito acting like patients in the background, Jack shocked audiences by smashing a glass window before being pulled away by a nurse. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest later won a whopping six BAFTAs, including Best Actor for Jack and Best Film. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.